Did I really just purchase 21 pairs of designer shoes? Yep, I sure did. Hello and welcome. I am jewelry designer Jill Maurer, and on my channel I often talk about jewelry. I also talk about design, different aspects of design. If those are topics of interest to you, please click subscribe so we can be sure and see each other again. First things first, this is not a sponsored video. I wanted to let you know that I purchased these on my own. I discovered this shop on my own. So why did I do that? Why did I purchase 21 pairs of shoes? I did lose my mind a little bit. I will admit that. I love shoes and when it comes to shoes, I'm somebody who tends to buy and hold. I don't buy very often, but when I do, I really do. The last time I made a big purchase was in 2008 and some of you may remember that there were some crazy sales. I mean, I was getting Louboutins for 80% off. Might have even been 2007. I do still have some of those shoes that I purchased in 2008 and those tended to be very luxury shoes. My goal this time was I wanted to get some fashionable shoes that I really loved and that were lower heeled, either flats or just a lower heel. As somebody who owns a lot of luxury shoes, what I can tell you is you can spend a lot of money on shoes. I've spent a lot of money on a single pair of shoes, but you don't have to. If you spend between two and four hundred dollars, about that price range, on a handmade Italian leather shoe, you are going to get the best shoe money can buy, in my opinion. You can spend more, but you're not going to get a better shoe. When I walked into the Rangoni shoe store, I realized I had found exactly what I was looking for. Rangoni was founded in 1937 in Florence, Italy, by a man named Hugo Rangoni. We would say Hugo it's probably Ugo Rangoni. He believed in quality plus comfort. It is still a family-run company. It is now run by Ugo's son. When you go into the store, you'll see two brands that are under the Rangoni name. One is Amalfi, Amalfi by Rangoni, and that's their largest brand and the one that they have been selling the longest time. Valentina Rangoni is Ugo's granddaughter, and she has started designing a line of shoes as well under her own name, Valentina Rangoni. And her shoes are funkier. They're a little funkier. You'll see as I go because I do have a blend of both. Remember as I show you these shoes that my goal was to have some lower heeled shoes. So the highest heel I think I have is about three or three and a half inches. They do make higher heeled shoes, especially in the Valentina Rangoni side of things. So if you're looking for higher heeled shoes, they're there as well. There are, I think, seven stores in the United States. I live in Raleigh, North Carolina. We do have a store at Cameron Village. I'm so excited about that because that never happens. We don't usually, we're not usually in the top seven places when somebody opens a store in the US. And I am delighted, delighted that we are. The manager of the Raleigh store, her name is Edna. Tell her hello, or if you walk into any of the Rangoni stores, please let them know that I sent you. One of the things I love about this brand and this store, aside from just the fact that they have great shoes, is the service. It's a very old fashioned service. They put the shoe on you, they can widen or stretch the shoe if you need it. It is just, it's that class old-fashioned service that you may not be used to having. One thing to know is Rangoni refers to suede as cashmere. Not sure why that is, but if you see the word cashmere on the website, it's actually suede. I will also say some of these shoes I paid full price for, some of them were on sale, and I don't remember which was which, but when you look online or you go into the store, oftentimes they have some on sale and some that are full priced. I'll go through the shoes fairly quickly because I don't want this to be a super long video. The first one's by Amalfi, it's called Patricia. And I have her here in black suede. This is also a suede knot, but it has a little bit of sparkle there. So here's Patricia in black. And I also have her in this color, which they call cognac. I wouldn't quite call this cognac. To me, this is more of a caramel. Oh, and in this one, you can see it a little better. The heel has the same suede fabric with the shiny dots on it, if you will, that are on this knot. The third shoe is called the Almo. This is a loafer, and they call this color coral. They call it a coral cashmere. To me, this is pink. It is a little bit warm of a pink, but I would call this pink. I'm not really reading coral in this, but I love this shoe. I think they also had it in black and kind of a taupe color, and this is also an Amalfi shoe. The fourth shoe is called Penelope by Amalfi, and they call this color marron, which I think is just brown in Italian, and it's a nice, 
brown color, nice medium kind of brown color, and it has a band that goes across with these little raised gold studs. I also have Penelope in black. In the calfskin, it has gold studs as well. To me, this is just a great classic shoe that I can wear with so much. Next up, we have the first shoe by Valentina Rangoni that I'm showing you. And as you can see, it's a little bit funkier. One of the reasons I like this shoe a lot is it reminds me of Prince. And if you know me, you know I love Prince. I love the blend of masculine and feminine. So there's a little bit of masculine going on here. There's, it also has sort of an old fashioned look. It's reminding me very much of a, of a shoe from the 1700s. They call this color dark taupe. It does have a little bit of a purple to me, just a little bit, a very subtle, kind of purplish color. Next up by Amalfi is this Nicholas boot. It is in a suede. It has this kind of animal print wave, and when you're wearing it, that wave is very flattering on the foot. I like it a lot. It zips in the back, and then this animal print does have a little bit of that shine, a little bit of the shimmer. They call this color corda. I don't know what that really means in Italian. It's a very, it's a light taupe color. I also have Midge in black. And this shoe has black suede, and here this sweep or this wave is in a metallic gunmetal snakeskin kind of look. Next we have Ruby by Amalfi, and this is just a nice little sandal. It's sort of a gladiator type of sandal. It's made from suede. On me, this is a nude. I've worn this one a lot. You just put your foot in and then zip it on the back. It's kind of an upgraded sandal. It's casual, but it has a very elegant look. This one, if I remember, also came in what they called coral, which is more of a pink, and blue as well. Moving on, we have Assisi in black cashmere. I have worn this shoe probably the most of all the shoes so far. Of course, I bought these in the spring. Whew, you can see it too. Sorry about this. We got a little, we've got some leaves or something on this. But um, this shoe is lower, but it does have a wedge. Has sort of that Mary Jane look, but with a T-strap. I really have enjoyed this shoe. It's very, very comfortable. There's this pillow on the inside. It's very comfortable, it has a rubber bottom, and it's just an elevated little casual black shoe. When I just recently went back to Alaska to visit, this is the one sort of dressy kind of shoe that I brought to go out to dinner with and just loved wearing it. I also got the Assisi in this azalea color. And this is another pink. This is a darker pink. And they call this color azalea. I'm gonna hold the two up, the two different kind of pinks up together so you can see a comparison. This is what they call coral and this is what they call azalea. To me, they're both pinks. This one is definitely warmer. I wouldn't say it gets warm enough to be called coral, but you know, that's fine. So that's a comparison of the two pinks. Next we have Piega in black. It's kind of a soft black fabric that has a little bit of a, I guess, I guess a little bit of a shiny crackle in it. And then it also has some black patent accents here, here, and of course the bow. This is another shoe that is a little bit masculine. It's not a lot, but it has sort of that loafer look that I like. I really like blending masculine and feminine. This boot is called Pesca and it is in a wine cashmere, I think they call it. So the cashmere again is the suede. And this boot doesn't have a zip or anything, but these stretch when you put it on. It's a very pretty color. This one is by Valentina Rangoni, so it's a little bit funkier. It's called Christina. And it has this kind of snake skin, has this very interesting pattern in the front with a black patent cap here. And then this is a stacked wood look heel. This again, you, you can just put your foot in. It's got a sort of a gunmetal silver strap on the back. The overall shoe is shiny. I think it's very classic, very stylish, also funky, and kind of blends that masculine and feminine. This one is called Pinna by Amalfi, and they do call this color cognac, and I would agree with that, that name. This has its, its calfskin here, and then it's a woven leather here. I love this shoe because this is another sort of perfect neutral shoe, that warm brown that goes with just about everything. This would be a great travel shoe because there's just about nothing in my wardrobe that I could not wear this shoe with. It is a perfect 
neutral. This one is also by Valentina Rangoni. This one gets a little witchy, which is what I like about it. I like a good witchy shoe. This one is in black. It's a low loafer with a pointed heel, black calf skin, and then there's hair on this, and then the, the strap going across with silver rivets. I can't find the name of this shoe. If I find it, I will put it here below, but right now I can't find it, and I couldn't find this shoe on the website at all either. And I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's too new or too old. I don't remember if I got this one on sale, but it does, it did come in some other colors. It has this um, elasticized strap. I would describe this as gray. You could maybe call it taupe, but I wouldn't. I would call this a gray shoe, sort of a medium light gray color. Another good neutral that will go with a lot of things. This is the Amalfi Zippy. I'm pretty sure it's called the Zippy, even though it has just one P, Z-I-P-Y. It's pointed, um, it's all suede. It has this gold chain, nice um, tread on the bottom. And it has just this little bit of a elastic to help you get in and out of the shoe and make it a little more comfortable. I really do find these shoes to be very comfortable. And if you need them stretched in the store, they will do that. Some of them I need stretched right across here sometimes. I mean, my foot will do it, but it's more comfortable if they do it, of course. The next two shoes are the most masculine shoes that I got. They are by Valentina Rangoni. And I love the idea of wearing a very masculine shoe and then having you know pants and a very feminine silk top with it i got these specifically these are just a little big for me because i wanted them to be very very comfortable even after traveling i think this is going to be a perfect traveling shoe i am going to be going to vidcon this year and i got these as one pair to wear because i want something that is very stable very very comfortable that i can wear every day and know that even if I my feet have been swollen from the travel or maybe more salt in the food, that I'm gonna be comfortable. So when I go to VidCon, I bet you are going to see these. You might not be able to see it on camera, but you might be able to. It It is two-toned. This is a little bit redder and this is a little darker and browner. It is patent everywhere. And that's the bottom. I haven't worn these yet. I definitely look forward to wearing them. I will probably take these to VidCon as well. This is a suede that has a little bit of a shimmer in it. Again, these are by Valentina Rangoni. And then this soft metallic. And this metallic, it's kind of that sort of color between gold and silver. It's not quite gold, it's not quite silver. It's a little bit, I would call it a warm silver. And it contrasts with this. Here you can see better that it's a penny loafer. I wouldn't put a penny in it, but that's what it's based on. I did have pennies in my loafers when I was in high school because that was just the thing. <laughs> and last but not least, this is the Valentina Alessandra, and it's a velvet shoe that has these embroidered flowers on it. She has done this fabric in several shoes, even a tennis shoe, which is very funky. And then it has this this metallic heel here. This is one of my favorite pairs. I've worn this a lot already. This takes just a simple black pair of jeans to another level. They're kind of like a gentleman's smoking loafer kind of slipper type of shoe. It does blend that masculine and feminine. I've had a lot of fun with them. They're just, they're unexpected and I love them. If you are familiar with Rangoni, please let me know your experience below. And if you've never heard of them before and you're thinking about checking them out, let me know that too. Please let them know that I sent you. If you like this video, please like it and share it. And also please do subscribe. I would love to see you again. I'm actually uploading a video every single day for the year of 2019. It's been quite the challenge and I can use all the cheerleading I can get. See you tomorrow.